Welcome back to the Hot Tip Best Daily Pick Show here for Tuesday, March 12th. Back with some more college basketball action here for today. Conference Championship Week starting to ramp up. Got some more games to take a look at here on today's card. And as always, for Conference Tournament Week, um, obviously schedule a bit up in the air at times, especially with recording early. So make sure you have joined the Discord server linked down below in the description. If I end up adding any picks to the cards, it'll be over there on the Discord server. So um, click that link down below. Join the Discord server today because not only do you get all of that, but you also get my recommended unit size for all of my picks and all of that great stuff before the games. And looking back to Monday's results, don't quite have either of these ones in as of yet. Cleveland State looking good in the first half, you know, starting to maybe give it up a little bit here in the second half. Hopefully they can hold on to that one, though, in the Portland State game. Got the later one there. So as always, check the YouTube community tab or the link down below to the website to see the full results for those ones. Um, and obviously, you can take a look at all of the other stuff up on the website, college basketball, NBA, NHL, UFC, and horse racing picks being posted every single day. So go take a look at all of that. And again, in the college basketball side of things, the matchups may be a little bit slow to update at times here this week, but they'll be there eventually. Um, so check out the website. Go take a look at all of that and let's jump into today's show. Now we head to the American East tournament here for this one as New Hampshire takes on Vermont for New Hampshire. Coming to this game is the 262nd overall team in the high-tip power ranking. Vermont is the 148th overall team. Obviously, it's a Vermont team that has had a lot of success in the American East over the past decade or so. Um, and obviously, this season looked just as good. Their only loss coming against NJIT early on in February as far as conference play goes. But New Hampshire did keep it close in the final game of the regular season. Um, and New Hampshire is not a team who was terrible. While they did lose their final four games of the regular season, um, like I said, they kept it close against Vermont and got a solid win over Binghampton at home on Saturday here to open up American East tournament play. Overall, they've been good on the defensive end of the court, especially from the perimeter, only giving up 30.7% from beyond the arc. And while Vermont certainly beats them in a lot of areas, that's one area that Vermont has struggled a little bit more, giving up 32.3% from three here on the season overall the really the key for new hampshire in this game is going to be to push tempo get up and down the court but the model does still like vermont at home in this game a 10.39 favorite towards vermont in this one as far as the books go have it at 13 and a half uh, for both the opener and the current line a 5.39 percent edge towards new hampshire here coming into this one and really like i said new hampshire if they can push it up and down the court run in transition um, and you know play a faster style of basketball i think they can hang with Vermont and keep this one within the number. I'm taking New Hampshire plus 13 and a half here against Vermont. Now we head to Washington, D.C. for the ACC tournament as Boston College takes on Miami for Boston College. Coming to this game is the 57th overall team in the high-tip power ranking. Miami is the 55th overall team overall. Fairly evenly matched as far as the rankings go there. But it's a Miami team that has struggled this season. Don't have a win since February 3rd. Really struggled the last month of the season here, including two losses to this Boston College team. One by eight points um, and the other by 10 on the road or sorry, at home for Miami um, here just a week or so ago. And overall, while it's a Boston College team that maybe isn't the best in the world here this season, they have been a strong shooting team, shooting a 52.9 effective field goal percentage here on the season. Miami not doing bad, a 53 effective field goal percentage right there with Boston. In college in fact a slight nod better but even so it's a miami team that has just struggled to win games struggled to close out and just has not been playing good basketball even with that on the neutral court here the model gives the slight nod to miami a 0.19 favorite entering this game picks pretty evenly matched minus one and a half on the spread miami as the favorite in this game um but boston college getting the slight edge from the model here and i'm actually looking at the money line here for this one really not a huge edge across the board for this game but a 2.26 percent edge on the boston college plus 100 money line and i think it's a boston college team that we saw beat this miami team twice which is not easy to beat a team three times but i think in the neutral court in this game they do it again taking them plus 100 here against miami